Good afternoon, morning, evening, fair listener. It is Full Spectrum Cycling Goodness, number 205. Ah, it says yeah. goodness on the top of the Google Doc. Good. Full Spectrum Cycling Goodness, 205. Yeah, boy, that's a that's a couple of two-tree shows there, eh? There's my documents again. Can't oh. find them. Can't find the documents. Yeah, can't don't, know what, the documents don't know what we're going to talk about. Today. Portable computer. Hey, what's hey. happening? Portable computer. Um, warm, <laughs> warm. It was warm. It's, it's nice. It's been warm out there. It's been nice. I actually rode my bike a couple times in the last week, which I what's feel the about? shoulder. That is getting better. It's after after. What did we? We did something. We rode somewhere, and then it was a little sore the next day. But oh, uh, yeah, frozen snot. Oh yeah, frozen snot. That was a couple weeks ago now, wasn't it? I am actually climbing the, the hill know. right now, and oddly enough, still managing to open a beer until everyone else gets to the tablet. Yeah, <laughs> you're talented that way. I am. Uh, I I don't even know what, what what do we got here. I'm just going to start at the top of the I list. I can't find my documents. So last <laughs> last week we had the uh, Motorhead. Was that last week? The yeah, Motorhead. Motorhead beer. Motorhead road crew beer. And yeah. at that time it was Ale Asylum brewed <laughs> that one. And then I noticed that Ale Asylum had been closed for like a year, year yeah. and a half yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that one had been around for a little bit. And it, it was still drinkable yeah yeah it wasn't um, fully cured thank you for it being in a can rather than a bottle right somebody else some other brewery has taken over brewing that uh mm-hmm. carbon four but not the motorhead beer i think somebody else had a i don't know whatever yeah. but carbon yeah, four is yeah. taking over the alum Al- a- Al- Al- alum the alum asylum Al-Am. brand oh I've all and documents. we'll bring it back to the market with a renewed focus on its flagship beer hopalicious hopalicious is good i it really is it, it it's a, it, it's a pretty fantastic there, I'll, IPA. I'll drink it's it. in the conversation of ordering. Unfortunately, uh, it's heavy. Uh, you know, I mean, it it packs a punch. So I don't know what happened with Ale Asylum. I, where they were pretty heavily a restauranty joint too. I think. They? Well, yeah, and then well, they kind of transitioned to that. Yeah, and they probably soaked more money than they thought. Right. So into that. well, <laughs> it's good that Carbon Four is taking it over because I do like. A lot of carbon four beers, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. hopefully they can had carbon four for make a, a go of it. Um, lots of lots of places kind of closing and things happening that are, I think, still related to the bullshittery of the couple of years ago. But the one that I learned about today, I don't know if anybody else saw it. Kitspo Clothing Company, I did see is, that. Yep. is shutting down and by cracky. Those are some good shirts. I mean, yes, they're a little spendy, but boy. I love my I love my Kitspo, and they do have a, a going out of business sale. But I checked it out, thinking I might score one more shirt, and they were sold out of just about everything I was looking at. But you never know. Wow! You know, if you're a super extra triple large, or you're a very petite person, you may find <laughs> yeah something well, still to the, the other triple ends. X <laughs> category. Um, On my note, there from the show is you know. Triple X Sam is building himself another fat bike. Yeah, it's, I think it's already built up. Um, but he wants to now electrify it. And as you're saying, that's, that's why he got a bike. Is yeah, to that's make one of them electric. One of them to make it electric for coming down and... Our friend's electric. Having fun and then being able to ride home without being exhausted. Well, he's trying to figure out which one, either the Wyatt or the no, ice I cream truck. No, that, that's stupid. You, you make the foreign bike electric. I don't know. I'm thinking that the the Wyatt would be, you know, they're, That'd be they're, cool they're built well, shit, they're right? strong as hell. I think uh, why? And he's got that. Why not? He's got that Wyatt. big ass shock on there. Mm, you make good point. Make yeah, good I don't point. know. So, on the electric, it's been Electric Bike Week here at the uh, shop. We had a bear, Barry, B A E R E bar bar. It's a bar. I think it's a bar. Uh, sort of bar. cargo-y thing or a kid carrier that has like a big box on the front. And uh, wow. I'll have a picture of it in the show notes if you want to see what it is. But they sent, they send this bike to the consumer and expect the consumer to assemble it 
or take it to a bike shop in which which is what they ended up doing and they should have just brought it here they had already Instead, tried to assemble yeah, themselves and, yeah it was kind of close but she couldn't get the brakes done in the front and there was a couple of things wrong once we got the brakes working discovered that the pivot that's underneath this huge box that you have to take apart was really loose so it was just it probably would have been about the same price to just bring it here Every and have year. us assemble it right um and How so, was it? so we crew, <laughs> Stephen and I ripped around on that thing quite a bit because it's got two wheels in the front and each has a disc brake and trying to dial that in so it doesn't pull one side or the other side was kind of a challenge. Right. <laughs> because they're not super spectacular brakes. It's Scandinavian inspired. Oh. Um, however, hydraulic? not made in Scandinavia. No, the bike itself. And, and so oh. the, the parts on it are, you know, they're mediocre at best. Uh, but we kind of got it close enough. I said, you guys, you're going to have to be aware that it may pull to one side or the other. You might want to consider using just the rear brake for now. And then if you, you know. What was the price point and, on this thing? Uh, well, it's 34 but it was on sale for 25 And it's with an electric, electric motor. Um, hub or? Hub, mid- rear, rear hub. Okay, yeah. big, pretty good size rack-mounted At, battery. On, uh, on campus today, I saw it, uh, what I'm guessing is somewhere in the six-plus-thousand-dollar electric cargo bike rear loader so long tail had mid drive belt elfine 8 like i'm i'm like and I, i'm i think it looked like a bosch drive i wasn't sure but i'm like oh yeah this is a pricey short commuter bike mm, uh, sounds cargo interesting. Bike. it was pretty cool but it was obviously very very expensive yeah, I, I, I don't know how many of these consumer direct places are, you know. Another thing that was wrong with this, the bar, was the, it only has a cadence sensor. So it has mm-hmm. a disc that has magnets in it that go by another magnet to tell the motor to put power down. But it was so far off kilter that it would only give power for about half a revolution. So I'd be oh, like, arr, oh arr, that'd be super arr, annoying. Arr, 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 arr. And we could only get it up to like eight or 10 miles an hour because it wasn't giving power the whole time. And then got that figured out and Steven took it out for a rip and he was, he said, nobody should ride this thing going 20 miles an hour <laughs> because it's kind of tippy and it's, you oh, know, shit. so we had to figure but he out. But got how, it to 20 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, had to figure out how to dial back the uh, the power. I, so we set it on eco mode and it goes like 12, which I think is, is plenty. Um, so that was that thing. Then... We ordered Stevens CYC X3 Stealth Gen 5 or 3 or whatever the Super Zoot motor is for his bullet. Nice. And then the next day. Uh, is that a mid drive? It is a mid drive. Yeah. And then the next day, Jake came in, Jake Newborn came in and did a different version of a similar drive for his bullet. So we're going to be doing a couple of the e bullets if anybody's interested in that. And we will have photos i would imagine on the website that's cool that's exciting yeah so it, and then cargo uh, bikes just makes sense it's one of the uh, best uses for it i would right. think for sure oh, i remember seeing peter ripping around the shorewood zone yeah he wee, a, wee, that bike wee, falls. Wee. holy christ yeah it? he's got the the Before big I- hub motor <laughs> that we put on a a zeiss that insanity motor, yeah. On a I remember bike. catching that Did before I, sent, I realized I sent that down the road to someone somewhere via eBay. And lucky bye you. Bye to you, motor. Good God, that thing was frightening. I, I, mean, I just couldn't remember. Like the first time I saw him, like ripping, I was like, "What the hell?" Oh, dude? he hauled. Well, it, it didn't make. I, I was unawares of the uh, electrification yeah. of it, right? And I'm just like, son. What are his like calves like? Yeah, he, <laughs> the size of he routinely is is above body? twenty on that bike, and probably many times closer to thirty. He's yeah, gonna get a bunch of it, my eighteen six fifties. I I hung out with him during the River West twenty four meet and greet, uh, which by the way, let's roll into that. Years. The Empanada restaurants right up the street, phenomenal. The Casino del uh, so yeah. Have not been in yet. Um, not, I, I still have a bad taste in my mouth from when it was River West. It's not that anymore. Screw no, no, that. This is no it's just get the building. The crossover. Building. I can't. They just you can cross over. Brian yelling and making bartenders cry. <laughs> These empanadas are delicious. Made me sad. So sad. And they have ceviche. Ah, I can do ceviche. 
Yeah, hey, see? I'm not a seafood guy, but I do understand some people, including Cleone and Molly, love ceviche. On occasion. I'll let them know. On occasion. If it lands right and it's done well, boom. Right. When it's like, here, have some of this because I can't eat it kind of thing. <laughs> I, I'm like, I, oh, yes. I'm just having shrimp and lime juice right now. Just a I, was, lot of I was doing lime a, juice. Uh, I oh, was my doing God. <laughs> a, a, let's just call it an American tour in Costa Rica and... Coming back, the tour guide said, does anyone like ceviche? And Cleone raised her hand hard. She's like, that guy on that bike right there sells the best ceviche in all of Costa Rica. Fair enough. So we got off. And, and he is my cousin. Uh, probably. But, but <laughs> I, had we, a, I had a similar adventure in We Morocco. got off <laughs> and we, ordered, we grabbed a container of ceviche from this guy and it was... Pretty outstanding. Okay, I, I, I didn't know where you're going to leave. Like, you're going to you, go tip one way or the other on that one. It's like, well, and that, we that, had the worst food poisoning. No, no it was delicious. <laughs> uh oh, what's going on, Greg? You guys finally made it to the top of the Whoa. hill. What you got going over there? Um, a logic bomb that didn't want to, doesn't want to open. Oh boy. Uh, today, <laughs> this week, we are, are are going through the rest of the twelve pack of surly Leftover beers day. from yeah from yeah. last week. But so. I've even gone off track and have the last. Uh, it's not normal. Uh, zombie Zom- ice three from Floyd's. three Floyd's. undead pale ale. All right, so there's two surlies and a three Floyd. Eight point five. I'm doing the one man mosh pit. Yeah, and the day of the bombs, day of so. the zombie was pre-gamed with zombie yeah. dust. Yeah, you didn't uh, really get deeply into that beer at all. <laughs> oh my god, no! So, uh, so yeah, it's God Lord, you wow, cannot, you've, you've molested the heck yeah, out of you. Well, need, you need an opener. There's a rag of, or a towel over there. Where's There's right? tools right, Tony, in the right other there. room too. That Tony, towel thing. That that'll yeah, that, that'll take care of that a little bit. A pipe. Well, it's a handlebar end. Ah, there you hey, go. Hey, drink Don't that your finger on. Oh, geez, he's going to have to go to the hospital after that finger. <laughs> he's bleeding I got, everywhere, I, 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 don't, I don't think blood's supposed to spurt like that out of there. Uh, I've got enough scar tissue. ain't going through that anywhere. <laughs> good, good, good on you, night. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I, you know, it, it's good beer. I don't know that we have to mm-hmm. get into it, but. Uh, oh, it's a little pointy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to open your hands, sir. That was lips hey, too. I, I'm, dude, all I did was do this, and it didn't want to pop it open. Well, you're good now. So. As long as you can get the liquid out of there. The beer is delicious. Uh, the can? Hmm. Not so much. Not so much. So I'm trying to get, uh, there's an event coming up on May 6th. I don't know. May Day's May 5th, right? May Day is May 1st. Oh, May 1st. Yeah. Is it? But, yeah, oh, it's always Star May Wars Day is May, May 4th. Day. And then uh, May the 4th be with you. Well, well you're is, right. River West 24 on, registration is the Saturday after May Day. Which this would be May the 6th be with you or something. Right. Revenge of the 5th. Revenge, the, Revenge of the 5th. Well, uh, right. So this is actually the 6th <laughs> in Osage, Iowa, which is just about an hour west of Decorah. And it is a clunker slash go to the beer bar place ride. But I think Spinner and Chewy and Kayla and Lunds, hopefully, and a few other folks are going to get together and try and do this thing. So I have to ride my clunker around a little bit. After it threw me on the ground, I'm a little, a little gun shy. On that thing. Yeah. Dude, it threw you on the ground because you rode at the totally wrong time. Well, Do not blame the clunker. Blame the, the player. The pilot. <laughs> Well, and the but it looks like a lot terrain. of fun. Guess what? You're not going to have sheets of ice in May. Well, you won't. You would think you, you won't. won't. We've had snow you in won't. May in Wisconsin. Yo, snow. Mr. Potato May. Head, Mr. Potato Head. Snow. We will not have May. ice in May. May snow would suck. <laughs> we've had we've had May snow in the past. Yes, we have. I know. I know that March is the new December. So you know, but yeah, hopefully there will be no snow on May this thick in Osage, Iowa, but if you're of a mind, you might consider going to that event, and I'm, I'm sure we can ruin that town. It's not that big. It's smaller right. than Decorah, <laughs> for sure. Spread the swath. Yeah, you know, let's let's make sure that they know 
what Wisconsin's about over there in Iowa. I'll be yeah. recognized. I'll have a, a, a flyer thingy in the show notes, but also uh, we're trying to get the, the Dan, the organizer, on the show, and I think within the next week or two we should be able to make that happen somehow. Uh, I don't know what else is coming up, really. Most of my other stuff is in June, Bike Week, and then July, River West 24. I, I put in the notes about the, and, I, and I, I've, I've, since I put in the notes, I thought about it, but Selly Anatomic sells the rubber version of yeah, their the R, seat. R2. I think it's, a, I, I, I found it quite interesting until I realized rubber gets really hot in the sun. I so we've sold a few of them, and I don't have a really good report back on them. But I, the the number one thing about them is all the other leather celly anatomicas. You can't leave them out in the rain at all. No, I know. And you know, so if it if it's an all season or uh, if it's a commuter bike or something that you're just you have to leave outside, you either got to get a baggie or a rain cover or whatever for right. your leather. Well, you know, bread, bags, baby. bread bags. Yeah. Bread bags. <laughs> they're they're not just for feet anymore. Right. You know, newspaper <laughs> bags. It'll cover. Got the bread bags for my feet. I don't want bread. I'm <laughs> gluten free. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it again. This is good beer right here. <laughs> All right, all right. Which one is that? This is the uh, oh, mosh pit. hazy. I, I one man mosh pit. Yeah, I it's... am mosh pitting over here by myself. Oi, oi, oi! Yeah, as long as you're not hitting us, you do what you gotta do. Oh, speaking of Dai Kaiju, I <clears throat> there was last time at X Ray, there was a uh, there was a young gentleman who was loving the mosh pit a little. Too much. Too much and Ed, didn't really know the etiquette of mosh etiquette pitching. Whatsoever. I don't think and the young got, people know. got like know. a little bounce around and whatever. You know, it, I mean, because essentially you're doing derby, you know. Right, like right. Contain, contain, right. contain. Right. And motherfucker bumped into me more than a couple of times. And he was just being a dick in the whatever. In the pit. Oh, man. So when he did come over, I remember just grabbing him. <laughs> by the collar in one of those like when you pull and you can hear and feel that you have torn <laughs> fabric <laughs> just like fucking be cool dude and push back in and then it just spins back around like what and then you get caught in the whirlpool of shit <laughs> it's like yes this is how you this, is, how you, you this is, is the old this is like the old man version of right. the mosh pit you don't have to get in the pit you just have to yeah. fuck with people as they bounce in well, you just be on the edge <laughs> This yeah. is the I, April I, I, I more 20th. contain I contain the mosh pit at this point on the edge. Oh yeah, yeah. Get people back into the middle where they belong and try not to get stepped on by big, big boots of terror. Yeah, you got to read the pit. You yeah, completely right. read right. the pit. Read the pit. And then Ziegel comes in from the side, goes <laughs> all the way through it. <laughs> Again, it's yeah. Der- derby esque. It is very well, derby esque. Yeah. I gotta say, it is. It's pretty funny that way. So yeah, four twenty for we got a we got a four twenty yeah. date with that kaiju. Yeah, it's gonna be a good show. Yep. Be so my my twenty percent of the arrival of potential party crashers did not occur. <laughs> what? Cool. The uh, oh 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 we had uh, we had <laughs> a, the Lloyd and the yeah, uh, we had yeah. a category one Lloyd sighting and T N T. It could have been a could have been a thing. And Martin from Soup Sup, Sup Design, design. Soup Design. Uh, oh be, wait, I didn't know that was Martin. Okay, I know that dude. Yeah, it would be good to have uh, both of them on the show. Maybe not simultaneously, perhaps, but uh, <laughs> at the same time. Lloyd Lloyd is he just was doing a magazine shoot somewhere for something yeah, down yeah, at for the beach. The, uh, beach ambassador stuff. Yeah, beach. Yeah, he's the beach the beach ambassador down there at the Wisconsin Milwaukee Lake Fronty thing. And I don't know what the shoot was exactly about, but it was at Bradford, so. Yeah. I'm going to push some buttons. You talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> is it like shirtless Lloyd or? I, that or, is a very good question. You know, I'm not is sure. Is that what they're looking for? I don't know if I want to. I don't know <laughs> if I want to. I wasn't it's at this It's a beach ambassador show, uh, ca- uh, yeah, calendar. A calendar? <laughs> <laughs> for next holiday season. <laughs> Uh, well, one of the things about Lloyd is that he doesn't own a car and he rides his bike 
everywhere. Huh. I'm surprised that his bike lives as long as it lives. Because I'm also he puts very a happy he rides of, his bike everywhere. But rides a lot of miles. What's he currently got? Some it's an orange thing. Uh, special yeah, that orange specialized. Is it a, is it a he's special ever? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he had a Kona for a while. You know. Yeah. He's had some decent bikes because. Oh yeah, I had a ride. Well, as, I had a ride as Kona because I got. Yeah, that one got stolen. I think. But then recovered. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> dirty human. Somebody said, whoa, come on, son. That wasn't, yeah. <laughs> you mean, <laughs> you, ooh, your fumes are making me turn into Jerry Reed. <laughs> ooh, the vapors. <laughs> the vapors. Uh, I do say. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Oh, uh, Lloyd was looking at the, the Wu-Tang uh, coaster bike, I go, yeah. I don't think that bike's for you. I'm not sure it can handle the Lloyd and all the Lloyd has to offer. Well, no, that would be a different riding style Lloyd than... Well, yeah. he'd have to even be... No, he, even Lloyd he, It would be dead Lloyd. Yeah, he'd have to be on the super mellow style. Oh, yeah, he would have to... Which yeah. is did, never... How's this thing work? I'm, I'm moving my arrow. I'm moving my arrow to the green talk button. Hey, welcome to the radio program. Caller, who do we have on the line? This is Mark Peterson from Ogden, Utah. How are you guys doing today? Right. Really? Oh, wow, Mark has... Ogden, Utah? I didn't know you had a radio voice because it's coming across very very <laughs> sultry and wonderful. Really? Smoky. Oh, yeah, today, anyway. Smoky. We have a good connection well, for some reason. Wonderful. All the way from Utah. How are you, man? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. How are you guys doing? Are you guys getting any snow? No. I think we're not quite done with snow, but we didn't get any this week. I think we're done with the measurables. We're, we're above 40. Really? Well, you got, did you just get a bunch of snow? Uh, we're getting dumped on as we speak. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I was reading, is the atmospheric river over the Great Salt Lake at this point? <laughs> yeah, something along those lines. I think uh, it's, it's a lot of snow, but I'm, I'm all in. I love it. Absolutely. De- define a lot of snow for us, please. Well, um, normally we don't see any snow around these parts in the winter. Um, we will get one or two or three inches and it'll hang out for a day and then it'll melt away. But lately we've been getting four, five, six inches of snow nice. on, on the regular and it's covering my lawn and I haven't seen my lawn for like three months. So I'm nice. stoked on that. Wow. So, I mean, real snow to happens not far away from you up in the hills, correct? Mountains. Absolutely. Absolutely. The, the Wasatch getting, up there in the Wasatch range? Well, they're so, getting huge amounts of snow right now up there. So what kind of PSI are you running then, considering you're riding fatty? Um, I, I would say probably about nine. Nice. Nice. Nine. Nine, nine times. Nine pounds. Nine, nine times. How, oh, so, uh, <laughs> Mr. Dave Schlebowski stopped through Milwaukee last week and picked up a piece of gear to try some video stuff with from me. But then today he's like, I, I'm not calling in today. I'm like, I didn't know you were. But then he did say, could you ask Mr. Mark Peterson a question? And I said, well, yes, because he's calling in today. And by cracky, here you are. Um so there was a, I think this particular story was NPR bound, but it's climate change and a population boom could dry up the Great Salt Lake in five years. What do you think of that? Uh, I think they're jumping the gun a little bit. I think that like people get excited about kind of sensational, you know, headlines. And of course. Absolutely. They get all excited and stuff, but I, I, I you never know. I mean, I guess it's not impossible, but I don't see it happening. Like totally dried up, I don't see it happening either. But, you know, it's definitely been yeah. shrinking for the last, what, 50 years or something. Oh, yeah. It's not Absolutely. like, it's Absolutely. not like. Well, that's that's just more places to ride your, or uh, to drive a car at a huge amount of speed. <laughs> so I, you know, I've been out there a bunch of times, what with the family being out from there at one point in the past. Uh and I was at, I went out to the Bonneville Salt Flats in my mini van. It was awesome to see how fast my mini van would go, which by the way, it was 108. I don't know if it, it wouldn't go any faster, but I also wanted to fly my Model RC airplane out there in the middle of, 
you know, the desert, but it was just a little bit damp, a little bit wet salt. And when I got back off the salt flats onto the highway, I noticed there was about, I don't know, three inches of salt packed underneath the vehicle because it was, you know, wet and kind of <laughs> sticky. So I went over there to Wendover to a you wash it place and tried to get it off. But that that van rusted really badly. And I, I blame it on that one yep. trip on the lake because I don't think I ever got I, all I, of I that agree. that got packed on there out of there. Of it. <laughs> yeah. I must concur, sir. I, I, I agree. That's what, that's what did it. <laughs> Without doubt. <laughs> Do you guys ride uh, bikes on the salt flats or the, on the, the salt rim of the lake around the edge of the water? No, no. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sure a couple people have or do occasionally, but by no means is it like an attraction or a trail that you're like, yeah, let's go do this. Um, I've always wanted to go do some kind of exploratory stuff. There's um, uh, a gentleman uh, down South in, in Utah that uh, is it Daniel Burton. I think that is his name. Um, He's one of the guys that was, one of the first or second to try to get to the center of Antarctica or something like that on a fat bike. Yeah, it sounds um, familiar. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, he he lives down in Salt Lake, and he used to he would ride across, uh, you know, um, Utah Lake when it was frozen in the middle of winter, and it would seem like he would be the kind of dude that would go out and explore around the outsides, the, the perimeters of the Great Salt Lake. But it's just so it's so inaccessible on so many different levels. And if you get out there and you get stuck, you're in, you're in deep shit. (laughs) Yeah. There's a lot of military presence in various spots around the lake too. So I would think that would make it somewhat less than hospitable for normal humans. Yeah. 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 I guess there would be some of that, but I'm not familiar with a whole bunch of that, but yeah. So you guys, you guys aren't getting just slammed with snow out there. Or no, what's zero, there? dude. No, you get the snow. It's, zero. it's all gone by the time it's, it gets here. It's above 40 no, right now. And anything we're getting is rain. It sucks. Oh man. Yeah. It sucks. Just, well, no fun. okay. So we March, what March is the new December. We were talking about earlier and we're only about two inches of snow less than our seasonal average, which is in the, 45 it's coming pittance yeah it just it's it hasn't really it's done bullshit. what it would normally do you got to go a good two to hmm. three hours north of where we are up into the northern wisconsin area to get significant snow, snow that stays and they can groom it for fat biking yeah. or whatever whatever winter sport is your thing uh you might you might even want to do like bush light curling perhaps i don't know right Right. Last week's Ooh. salon Sounds chair. Like yeah, 30, 30 packs of bush light with a wooden handle lashed to the top with, like, strapping tape or something. <laughs> they, they check, out, as- uh, check out last week's episode. <laughs> and This is a the, Minnesota thing, the, though. Don't play Minnesota, Wisconsin on it, this one. This is entertaining. I listened to it this week. It's very entertaining. Tuesday morning? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> During Dr. Know? Sushi. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Mark, how's, how's things at Pronghorn? How's the, how's the shop doing? <laughs> oh man. Um, just this last Saturday, we had our grand opening. Um, until recently, I didn't realize that there was a soft opening, a hard opening and a grand opening when you open a shop. <laughs> Fair um, enough. Yeah. These are a, a flaccid opening, opening uh, but <laughs> right. I am wondering which kind of opening we're doing next, but <laughs> we just recently had our grand opening. And uh, we gave away several bicycles, and we had raffles, and we did a great big spinning wheel, and uh, we raised a whole bunch of money for the local um, high school of scholastic mountain biking. Um, uh, I, I don't know whether you call them groups or clubs or something Gangs. along those lines. Yeah. Gangs. Um, it's like the, the NICA. Yeah, yeah. You got a NICA team there for the... They're all gangs. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it, just like that, uh, all kinds of teams, and we ended up raising a bunch of money and had about probably, I bet you there was 300, 350 people who came through the shop the other day, and that was fantastic. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that nice. sounds good. That's a problem with bike shops. Sometimes people want to come to them. I know. I hate that when that it's happens. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to buy oh, shit. It, it was so cool. It, it's such a cool feeling to see something like actually that the community really wants. That's what people kept echoing over and over and over again 
was that finally there is a shop close to us we, where we don't have to drive a half hour, 45 minutes to go get our bikes taken care of. And that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know the lay of the land on the on the bike shops out your direction, but you've got a hub. It's a long ways from Bountiful down to uh, whatever on the south end of the of the valley there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's absolutely a half hour to uh, the next bike shop. Oh, so, right on. Well, that's you know, that's yeah. what you want. We're we're dumb enough to put a bike shop yeah, where there are like well, eighteen others. The, yeah, we're housing like we're like two miles away from. I don't know how many bike up. shops. Yeah. Are they uh, well? Th- so this goes back to that population boom out there. Is it uh, is it mostly people from California, or are they coming from everywhere? Oh, geez, I have no idea. I'm going to have to go out and sample a, a couple of people and ask them. Exactly and then, where the hell are you from? Hey, are you from California? But, uh, go back home. We don't want you here. <laughs> there, come on now. You're raising yeah, our, yeah. You're raising our no, property I mean, values too much. I, 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 it's it's really kind of cool because uh, Utah and Ogden and this area, um, the cost of living is apparently way lower than in other places, and the the uh, wages are much higher. So you come here, you get lower cost housing, you get higher wages, and you get cooler locations. So win 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 win. win, win. So yeah, I guess that's why. Well, we just we started working with a place that's in. I don't know what little, it's not in Draper. It's somewhere in, it's somewhere in the valley there somewhere. Uh, that's called electrifybike.com. To yeah, they're do, interesting. They're, a C, they're the CYC distributor for a really cool e-bike motor. And they've been very friendly. Um, and I've been very happy to work with them on the several kits we've ordered recently. So that's somewhere south of you. I just don't know exactly where. Yeah, yeah. Good kits in Utah. All of them. All of them. Good. Right on. Uh, what do you get? Do so, you guys- um, I, I got a question for you guys. Uh, I, I got into something recently, and I don't know whether you guys are into it or not, but have you heard of bike polo? <laughs> yes. Like where you yeah. ride around and play polo on we, bikes? We right? got lots of bike polo in Milwaukee. Yeah, we actually have a, a city I, park that yeah. has a really good bike polo area. Um, and it's yeah. been it's been it's been big here for 15 15- yeah, they're, we competed in the nationals. Actually. Yeah, uh, there's a pretty good group yeah, of them figured, in our area. I figured you guys were like old school and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just getting into it, and I am so stoked on this idea of riding around on a bike and hitting a ball with a mallet. That, <laughs> I, I agree 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw you guys were building some bikes to do it. I saw your test mallet, and you're whacking the water bottle or whatever you're <laughs> whacking around. Yep, yep, um, yep. What, one that thing I me, noticed about being a dingleberry. <laughs> one thing I noticed about the people who are really good and also uh, don't want to crash a bunch is they use either a cover or some kind of disc front wheel, so you can't stick the mallet in there and yep. flip the guy over. <laughs> <his> <laughs> <handlebars>. <laughs> yep. yep, yep. Cardboard yep. works. Good, I do. Yeah, are yeah. you are you riding a single? You, no are you riding a single speed or, or are you a fixed riding gear? fixed? Yeah, single speed, single speed, um, but it's not fixy. I've I've been watching a lot of polo matches and just kind of been getting into it. And I am amazed at the skill set these guys have, how they can get up on on the front wheel uh, with one hand on the bars, hitting the brakes, going into an endo, and then do a kind of a pirouette around, and then up on the rear tire and using the cranks, you know, as you know, because you don't have any brakes in the back, and then be able to do a 180 degree turn in nothing flat with one hand on the bars. Just amazing. Yeah, fixie people are a different breed. I think maybe that's like skateboarding. You want to learn that when you're really young, so that you don't trust yeah. you. You don't get that hurt when you break your shit all up for trust about you. the first five years of when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> trust you. Oh, I guess my timing's all fucked up. You can still whack water bottles. It's not a big deal. Uh, you know, we d- we do. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Huh. It's like I love hitting stuff. A you got a beer can on the road in front of you; it's all flattened from a car, and you, you try get hit. and you try and hit it with your back wheel, so you skid on that little tiny thing, so you got your good control of You're your good brakes. At that too. You're good at that. Or you yep. you might have yep. a beer can or a water bottle that's you know kind of still new, and you just flick it with your front wheel and your buddy who's riding next to you and try and hit him with it. Right, there's a lot right, of good right, there's right. a lot of good games you can do just on a normal group ride. Just true. Hey, speaking true. of beer, what are you guys drinking tonight? Uh, t- 
tonight is a I mean, we, mixed bag. We, we cleaned the fridge of our leftover beer night today. I got zombie ice at Don't you eight guys have point. like connoisseur beers and shit normally in your yeah, shows? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like no, I don't know, connoisseur. Uh, yeah, we just like to drink beer. More like kind of sewer. Kind of uh, today, something clever. Well, today um, I'm drinking Surly's oh, uh, One Man Mosh Pit Hazy IPA, which is really tasty. Yes. And I'm doing the Surly Logic Bomb, which is a juicy pale ale. Yeah. What are you and, doing? And you... I get to drink um, uh, It's Not I'm Normal. I'm more of a... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I'm drinking It's Not Normal Three Floyds Zombie Ice at 8.4. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah, a that's kneecapper. Bad. That's bad. <laughs> and you? So um, I, I, I went all out and went and got me some bush. Mm. <laughs> Light. Well, we do have we do have the fluffer beer, which is always hams here. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's the one you want to get when you're bush. Yeah, yeah, you're you're down there. Yeah, for sure. It, it, it's it's like water, it's right? Mm-hmm. It is alcohol in it. Well, it's, it's actually in, safe water. Yeah, if you're going to Mexico, you would drink. I mean, the, well, don't drink the water. Beer saved the world. If you watch that documentary, is. The fact that the Egyptians left water out that accidentally got fermented because it had rice in it, and lo and behold, no yep. one got sick. Yep. So, yeah, it, it beer saved the world, and yep. Bush is probably as close to that as you're going to get. So, so how does it work in Utah now? Is, it, is it still 3-2 beer out there, or do, can you actually get a real good beer now? No, you can get a real good beer now. Um, uh, the deal is, is if you're going to buy it in a gas station, it's going to be three two. If you're going to go anything higher, it's got to come from liquor stores. Kind of fucked up, but that's the way it is. Like, a, yeah, yeah they have yeah. state liquor stores, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's super cool. I, yeah, rem- I remember yeah. going to a to a bar. I, I don't, it might have been in the hotel we were staying in, but bar. you had to you had to be a member, so you had to pay like five bucks for that day to be a member of it. And then if you wanted like a double rum and coke or something. They would only put one shot in, and they would put another shot next to it, and you had to pour your own shot yeah, into car. your your own side drink. Car. I'm like, yeah, sidecar. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I guess there's ways to skate around anything, but that's how they <clears throat> skated around it in that particular situation. That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, people are weird. Life's weird. Uh, all yeah, right, Mark. Yeah. It is super weird, super weird. So I I wanted to share with you guys just like really quickly. um, I had something that like kind of melted my heart recently. Um, About five or six years ago in 2019, um, I had hit a hard patch and I had to sell one of my bikes and it was my first generation Rat Pink. And uh, it's an Electra Rat Pink, kind of a chopper type bike. And um, I love this bike. I didn't want to sell it, but it was only one that I had that had any kind of resale marketable value and you're a gentleman from texas who is a facebook friend um he he bought this bike from me and said he was going to come come pick it up from me like later on in the summer like four or five months later and he sent me five hundred dollars for it made it so i could pay my rent that month nice and so later in the year he comes out and i get to meet him and his his girlfriend and we go on mountain bike rides and they they take this bike away Know, and um, he says, if if I can, I'll be up here next year and I'll sell it back to you for what, what I bought it for. And I was like, right on. Thank you, dude, because I really didn't want to sell it. It was part nice. of my soul. <laughs> nice. yeah. And um, four, four years go by where there's hard times and I just can't. He's coming up every summer. He comes up, but I, I, I can't buy it back. Um, just recently, after the, like the night that we talked on the show most, most recently, I believe. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. That. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, the last time I was on the show, um, I went into work at Pronghorn and there was a box for me. My buddies were grinning ear to ear and they were like pointing out. I was like, okay, yeah. What the fuck? Are we, is this a build? Is this something I'm building up? Is coming from the management. They're like, no, look at the name on the address. And it was like address to me. And I was like, what, what? Mm-hmm. This dude sent me back my bike from Texas. And I, do you know how much it is to ship a bike? Yes. Very expensive <laughs> these days. Yeah. <laughs> so he shipped me back a fully bubble wrapped, individually pieced out rat fink with a note that says, well, wait, it's sitting right here in front of me. 
Nice. Hey, man. Wanted to send you the rat pink bag so you could enjoy it. I added, uh, I added a bell, but kept the chain guard for the wall of my shop. <laughs> my condition is never part with it again. Enjoy, my brother. Peace and love, nice. Rusty. Dude, that, that's just classic goodness that right there. Is, yep, yep. It's like, like an $800 gift out of the blue from the bicycle gods that continue to kiss me on the head every <laughs> night. They give you a job. It's not a good-looking head, dude. <laughs> oh, you've seen that. Come yeah. on, haven't you seen how handsome he was when he was yeah. doing videos for us yeah, back I'm, in the olden days? Of course, oh, I have. He, he was such a handsome. <laughs> I, oh, I don't know about that shit. But <laughs> <laughs> just about giving you a grief, dude. In, in, in between then and now, but yeah, man, that's well, so exciting. Got, it, it is cool to know that there are people out there that do good shit, right? That you, that, you know, I want to be that dude. You will be. You are, actually, in a way, because you inspire people. And especially, I'm not a, you're a Facebook god. I, you just are so giving of yourself and, and uh, you put yourself out there. And I, I'm too chicken to put myself out there I'm on Facebook. Asshole. But yeah, yeah, I'm an asshole, right? I'm an asshole on Facebook. Oh, I'm an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I just shoot but, pictures no, of the like, lake I in like the morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. JK does one thing, and he does it well. <laughs> Takes pictures of our hopefully receding slightly lake shoreline. So we can start riding It's either that it or again. something. Hey, this came out this day 35 years ago. Well, actually, yes, of this recording. When we were kids. It was uh, Head Like a Hole by uh, uh, Nine Inch Nails came out today. Oh, oh there you go. So, well, that is, a, I mean, <laughs> I'm <we> stoked. <laughs> That's an awesome story. I, I, I can't, it is a fantastic it's like story. It was destined to come back to you apparently because it did. Uh, apparently. The I mean, it, it is, I, I, I've got enough bikes. I, I promise you, I have <laughs> yeah. enough bikes. I didn't need anymore. <laughs> but this is the one that when it came back, I am was like i i had to like stop myself from crying in front of my bros you know i mean <laughs> not that i who cares if i right. cry a little bit when someone sends that kind of oh, thing back God. to you but it was squirt it was very there, squirt a tear a little bit sentimental you know yeah. for real and 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 uh, i hope that you guys think about the people that are around you your friends the guys that you hang out with, the people that guys. listen to yeah, this all assholes, you know, podcast, yeah. you know, we're family, man. We need to care for each other, take care of each other, love each other, love on each other way big. Get your ass up here so we can love on you. Yeah, we got, you, you, we can come out there, but you know I've been out there. You should come here someday. Yeah. We'll love on you. We'll love I'm, on you. I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. I, things are looking good along those lines. Let's just cool. leave it there. Yeah. All right, Mark. Well, awesome that you could call in tonight. Uh, you're welcome anytime, uh, and we'll hopefully catch up with you in not too distant future. Yeah, thank you for having me again. Uh, come on out to Pronghorn Cycles in Syracuse, Utah, twenty four thirty two West, seventeen hundred South, and Ogden or in Syracuse, Utah. Come out and say hi to me, and say hi to the rest of the family. Right on, man. Cool. All right. Okay, love you guys. Peace. Have a great night. Thanks, love Mark. Love you too. Peace. Bye. Peace. There we did. Hey, everybody. That's Mark Peterson right there. Out there from, uh, well, Ogden for him, but Syracuse for Pronghorn. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an awesome, he's an awesome dude. I, I mean, I've not just a Facebook buddy, but we've hung he's out a, he's several cool times, and he was very uh, welcoming when we were out there for a saddle drive and, and other times, so. If you're out that way, look up Mark at Pronghorn there in Syracuse. I think by Cracky that he, did again. he made our show again. So we're going to let you all go and uh, get back to your laundry or your, uh, you know. Trailer park boys. Shove, greasy sh money. Shove if it. you play the game, check it out. I will have a question. Oh, yeah. In JK the event. has a question. Yeah. In, yeah. Ricky's giving out more advice to you, shithawks. No. Comment your question and where you're from for a chance to see your name in the game. And no. I've been selected. I haven't, I'll, I'll have to play just to see JK yeah. in a, no. an actual game you can download from yeah. Apple or Android yeah. stores. There, it's just a fun time killer. No. I, got, I was into it for a couple of years, and yeah. then I was just, I, I don't know when it sort of was like, 
Did I stop? Whatever. So but the I, question, I, cheater, will be, how do islands not float away? What are you saying? What are you doing? Islands, islands in the stream. That is where islands we are. No in one in between. Stars. We are all stars. All right. In the dope show. Anyway, Tony's got an <laughs> extra 15 minutes of not listening to Dr. Sushi this show. Thank so. God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I love you, WNC, but sorry about Dr. Sushi. Ding, ding, clash, clash, clash. Most likely we'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Down and air and air and air.